Aqui, ó. Leve o só. Aqui, ó. Revelio. Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. It took the cunning of a Slytherin to track down these pages. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Aside from the bird path, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Lumos. Surprising how much of this is, rather unfortunately, coming back to me. Hmm, yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that birdbath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek. Hmm. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Incendio! Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. Or described. Revelio. Incendio. In 
Tremuros. Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But Leviosa, incendium. Yeah. Is that the best you can do? You can't imagine. Leviosa, Akio. Incendium. No! I will make you. Leviosa. I won't rest. Akio, get No risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Dora's led me. I wonder how big this place is. Akio! Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. I don't know if any of my spells will help me through this. Levioso, incendio. Accio, incendio. Levioso, Accio. I'm not going to touch those. Ugh. Akio. Levioso. Akio. Let me listen. Akio. 
La vie en sec. Akio. La vie en sec. Revelio. Rebellion. Akio. What's the matter with the that plan for him somehow? Rebellion. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of it. Akio! Levioso! Akio! Revelio Akio Revelio Akio Incendio Levioso Revelio I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Revelio Accio Revelio Accio Incendio Levioso Levioso, incendio. Accio. Another puzzle. But if Jackdaw could solve this, so can I. Revelio.
Revelio. Revelio. Revelio. Touched chest. Teradol wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Akio! It's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. Akio! Revelio! Send you.
Incendio. Incendio. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sooner. Revelio Accio I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Accio! Incendio! Levioso! Incendio! Incendio Levioso Eight legs is simply too many Revelio Accio skeleton in sight hmm. but I may as well help myself to this that's odd I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot but there's no sign of it Revelio Incendio! Revelio! An untouched chest. Tarotor wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave.
Rekio. Revelio. Akio. Revelio. There it is. The bridge, it's almost complete. More spiders. This can't be what we're headed with. Levioso. Incendio. Accio. Incendio. Levioso. Accio. Accio. Incendio. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. Incendio. Revelio. Accio. May as well help myself with this. I need to look around for the symbol. Revelio. Closer to Jack Daw's remains and those pages. I 
Machia. Levioso. Incendio. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Here it is. The map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this one? Accio! Levioso! Incendio! Expelliarmus. Accio. Incendio. Expelliarmus. Expelliarmus. Incendio. Accio. Levioso. Incendio. Levioso. Expelliarmus. Incendio. Expelliarmus. Incendio. Revelio. What? That's unnerving. What's happening? I've seen this before. Green got out in the restricted section. Where am I? Oh no, the room's starting to flood. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? Revelio! Can it be? Revelio. It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention, and might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. 
As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the Map Chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? What are you up to now? <laughs> Revelio!
Lumos. I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies. I suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Incendio! Accio! Revelio! Rebellion. Levioso. Revelio. Revelio. Off on another adventure, are we? Revelio. Incendio. Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say, up, 
firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up! One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. Ah! ah I think I'm getting the hang of this. Excellent! Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! That wasn't too bad. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. Ha! Ha ha! This is rather fun. Hey, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? Kagawa seems strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. Kagawa won't even notice. Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is ever flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> Now that's more like it! You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge! Think of all the magic holding it up! I mean, look at it! And the Owlery! That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? 
flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Oh, better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit, those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Incendio. Let me also. Rebellion. <laughs> Incendio.
Lumos. Revelio. Revelio. Hello there. Perhaps you can help me. Rebellion. Nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. Over here. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. Lumos. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. Revelio! We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. Incendio. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I know Ominous. Met him in our common room. 
I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. You're getting it. Ready to actually try. Confringo! Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have the villagers take farmers. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit far. Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. That's it. I think I've got it. Well done. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. To this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, 
with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curse is in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, Can I'll bring send you now. Revelio. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, uh, hello, Ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. Not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the Headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going Confringo. to be fearful about this. Repairer. Confringo!
Confringo! Handy resource indeed, your field guide. A castle must have been quite stately in its time. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Just let me know if there's something in particular you're looking for. A pleasure doing business with you. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. new face. One Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. 
What are we looking for today? That item is of the highest quality. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, I could complete what... That sounds intriguing. Thank you. It'll be... The time trials... Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Revelio. Ah, I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Thank you. Hope to see you again. Farewell for now. What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Thank you. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Revelio. Confringo.
Revelio. Again for finding my gobstones. Confringo! Revelio. What are you up to now? Revelio. Revelio. Accio. Levioso. Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing wisbies is dried billywig stings, I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Sounds simple enough. And who wouldn't want to go to Honeyduke's? Ah, brilliant. Thank you. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. 
I'll need to get those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. This looks like the right statue. Now, what was the password? Descendium. Goodness, who knew this was all down here? Repairer. Be how I get down. It's broken though. That seems to have done the trick. will never cease to surprise me. Akio! Confringo! I'm trapped. How am I supposed to get out of here? Levioso. Accio. Get past this. Levioso. <laughs> Repairer. Levioso. Repairer. Levioso. Something is getting in the way of that platform. Accio. Levioso. That did the trick. Revelio. This must be the way out. I need to find a way to open that gate. So 
something smells sweet. Must be close to Honeydukes. Hogsmead, here I come. Honey jukes. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? I have the dried billywig stings. Now, back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. Accio! <laughs> Rebellion. Oh, hard work and good luck go hand in hand. Off on another adventure, are we? Accio! Confringo! Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard! I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? Off to you, Professor. What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. Revelio. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom, your friend. Confringo! Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. 
I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Splendid. Now, cast evidence. chairs. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Revelio. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't Rebellion. believe it's still here. I'll just take a oh, quick look at this. Dear me. Give you an Can't opportunity you to explore on your own trying to rest. relocate Deke. Yes, Professor. Revelio. Rebellion. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Revelio. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? What was that? Was that a golden snitch? Accio, summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Revelio. Accio. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. 
deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them, you seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes, imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of any kind of one is clothes. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger...
if wombs Thank you.